Hi, this is Jess and welcome to Jess Styled. So for today's episode, we are doing a cheese platter. So I thought it would be fun to show you how to build a simple but impressive cheese platter to make our Christmas uh, Eve Salo Salo extra special for our family and loved ones. So let's jump right into it. Right, so the first order of business is get yourself a board or a cheese board. You can go for either like a wooden cheese board, a rectangular one. This is a perfect size, I think, uh, for four or four to six guests or family members. Or you can also have, if you have like a bigger family, then you can go for this uh, long, a rectangular cheese board or you can also go for a round wooden um, cheese board if you have a marble cheese board then you can use it as well yeah I think I'm gonna use this or if you don't have any cheese board at home then you can also use your platter any platter um, this one is my skinny platter. You can also use your Lazy Susan. Yeah, <laughs> this is big. Or, yeah, because your options are really endless, it's really up to you, you know, there's there are no rules here. You can also use your, your serving tray, like this one. So yeah, and I think this is a good option because you can easily carry it around. <laughs> yeah. So now that we have the perfect board for a cheese platter, I actually selected this because this is the right size for a family. It's time to choose our cheeses. So I have here five different kinds of cheeses. The first one, of course, you can never go wrong with a cheddar cheese. So I have here a cheddar white vintage. This is really delicious. I so love its um, taste. Uh, and my kids love it as well. And I also have here truffle cheese and another here. This is Gouda mature cheese. Yeah. And I also have uh, the Gouda with walnut. And this one, this is uh, Gruyere, Gruyere black. Um, this is the choice of my husband so yeah I have five different kinds of cheeses to play around with so I'm now cutting a portion of my cheeses into bite-sized cubes then I'm gonna place them where I want them to be I'm spreading them evenly on my board purposely leaving some spaces out for my meat or my charcuterie and the rest of my garnishes Next, let's add in mini bowls to set our foundation right off the bat. Next, let's add in our chosen charcuterie or cured mints. Of course, a classic prosciutto always goes well with the cheese. Take time to roll your prosciutto before adding them onto your board as this will create more visual interest. And of course, we have our salami. Our family loves this peppered beef salami. So we always have this for our cheese and meat platter. I usually fold or cut them into two or four equal parts. So it's a perfect bite size for everyone. Next, it's time for fresh and dried fruits. Grapes are staple on every cheese board as they add a pop of color and texture. Try to keep your grapes on their vine so it's easier to group them together. 
then we have our olives we have black and green olives today for a cheese board you know olives make a great pair for cheeses so we are putting or placing our olives in this bowl this is what this mini bowl is actually for Dried mangoes are popular in the Philippines, so we are adding some dried mangoes here. I'm cutting this into small bite-sized portions for an easier intake. For a bit of contrasting flavor, I'm also adding slices of pineapple chunks and this will go into this bowl. Now it's time to pour in our honey because cheeses taste a lot better with a drizzle of honey. You can also add fruit jams like blueberry or strawberry jams if you have one. Our cheese board is starting to take shape but we are not stopping here because we still have our dried nuts and chocolates to serve as our perfect filler, beautifully and appetizingly filling every little gap we have here. Next, let's add our crackers. This bread pan is my daughter's favorite, so I'm adding some here and uh, another here. Again, filling those little gaps on our cheese board. Then let's finish it off with some greenery by adding fresh herbs. I always love the smell and even the look of rosemary leaves. They absolutely can make our cheese board look more refreshing and beautiful in an instant. Finally, to complete the look, you can either have your cheese knives on a separate holder or platter next to your cheese board or on your cheese board right beside the cheeses. Since our cheese board is so full, I am placing this cheese knife separately. So this is how our cheese board looks like. It looks like a piece of art. I really had fun doing this. There are no rules when it comes to creating a perfect cheese and charcuterie board. But it's important to keep in mind these two reminders. One, provide variety or diversity on your board so you have something for everyone. And number two, make it look pleasingly full and appetizing to look like it is overflowing with a lot of goodness. If you are into a healthy diet, then you can also create a Christmas tree themed fruit platter like this. This will be a perfect attention grabber on your table for your Noche Buena with your family. Or you may also choose to create this fruity Christmas wreath. So there you have it. In a matter of 10 or maybe 15 minutes, we can come up with a simple but impressive cheese board platter for your Noche Buena. This will definitely make your Noche Buena celebration with your family extra special. So I hope you like this and uh, thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Merry Christmas!